So whilst 2022 was a dominant year for Red Bull, it wasn't all plain sailing. I mean the team did have the cost cap controversy to deal with for example, but recently it seems the FIA took issue with a comment made by Red Bull team boss Christian Horner when reflecting on the season. And on top of that, the FIA has given more information about how racing can be improved in 2023. But before we begin, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content. And you can follow me on Twitter at James underscore Formula 1 and there'll be a link in the description. Now DRS has been used in F1 since 2011 and it's been an effective tool to help drivers get a speed advantage on the car in front to help them overtake. Now whilst I'm all for this to help with closer racing, what we've seen at multiple tracks is overtaking becoming a bit too easy. I mean there's no doubt these new generation of F1 cars have helped with closer racing, but it also appears DRS has become more powerful and as a result passes were almost guaranteed at some tracks once the car behind got within one second of the car ahead. Now Ross Braun, who soon set to leave his role as F1's Managing Director of Motorsport, believes DRS zone should be used at places where drivers can close in on the cars ahead, whilst also reducing it so an instant overtake is not inevitable. And if you want to find out more on what he said, I'll leave a link to a video in the description. But it looks like the FIA could now examine the data from this year to shorten some of the activation zones from next season. The FIA single-seater technical director Nicholas Tombasis was quoted by Autosport as saying, in some races, we may have to actually reduce the DRS zones. We don't want overtaking to be, as we say, inevitable or actually easy. It still has to be a fight. Now for me, I do feel shortening DRS zones could help make overtaking that bit harder. As I said earlier, I'd like that DRS helps with overtaking, but if we could get to a position where overtakes need to be finalised with late braking or cars going side by side into corners, that would be much better than cars at the moment at some tracks breezing past on the straights. Now Red Bull had a dominant season in 2022, with the team picking up 17 wins and as a result claiming both the drivers and constructors titles, and due to their dominance, the team ended up achieving 759 points over the course of the season. But as per F1 sporting regulations, Red Bull faces a hefty bill as teams are obliged to pay a fee for each point scored. Now according to GP fans, 2021 Constructors Champions Mercedes faced a $577,278 bill entry fee, which is a premium paid by each championship winning team. But on top of that, the team faced a further $6,926 for each point scored, with the total paid equaling just over $4.8 million. But given Red Bull scored more than 100 points more in 2022 than what Mercedes did last year, the total is likely to be around $6 million. Speaking about this at the FIA prize giving gala, Horner said, to have achieved those 17 race wins, 2 sprint victories out of the 3, 5 one, two finishes, 759 points, I didn't realise how much we had to pay the FIA for the points. I got the bill the other day. It was incredible. But it seemed FIA President Mohammed Ben Suleiman took issue with another of Horner's remarks. After collecting the Constructors Trophy at the gala, Horner joked about the confusion after the Japanese Grand Prix. I mean if we remember back then, no one knew how many points Verstappen picked up since the full race distance wasn't completed, but he was all of a sudden crowned champion just before going onto the podium. But it seemed the FIA president used the FIA gala to clear up why full points were awarded after Horner said there'd been confusion. He said, One thing you said about Japan, Japan you said was controversial. No, the FIA was blamed for the points, but it was not the FIA who made the rules. It was the teams who made the rules, and were implementing it. Now after that, F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali had to intervene, chuckling that stay focused. So honestly, a very bizarre exchange of words. I mean, after Ben Suleiman did praise Red Bull for their achievements this year, but I'm sure what happened before would have caught quite a few people off guard. And Horner did say confusion, not controversial. So perhaps the FIA president may have misheard. But guys, that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.